Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for a Norwegian Cruise Line presentation. Today, we are going to focus on their new ship, Prima, which we just were lucky enough to have a couple of our advisors on board, along with Lynn from Norwegian Cruise Line. We have Amy here today, and I know Lori is having some technical difficulties, but hopefully she'll be joining us here soon. They just sailed on Prima out of New York City. So I'm going to pass it over to Lynn here, and she is going to share all things Prima with you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so excited to speak to you about our latest and greatest ship, the Norwegian Prima. I'm going to turn my video off uh, for the presentation, but then I'll turn it back on for the questions and answers at the end. So please, as you think of questions, chat them in the box, and Kelly's been kind enough to monitor them and we'll review them at the end. Today, we're going to talk about Norwegian, what makes us a little bit different. Of course, then we're gonna focus on the featured uh, presentation, the Norwegian Prima. We're going to discuss our free at sea promotions, which really make Norwegian so special. And uh, for uh, tuning in today, we do have exclusive offers just for you. And then we'll wrap with some questions and answers at the end. Norwegian has a fleet of 18 ships. We are considered a young, uh, young cruise line uh, with uh, some of the youngest ships. We do a really good job renovating the ships. For example, the Norwegian Spirit is our oldest ship, but she was renovated $150 million uh, bow to stern re renovation uh, just before the pandemic in 2020, and now she looks like our newest ship. So you can feel confident when you sail with Norwegian that you are on a beautiful ship. We are a global cruise line. We sail to all corners of the world. We added Antarctica uh, a few years ago, so now we can say that we sail to all seven continents. And we range in uh, um, trips in lengths of sailings from three days up to 21 days, our extraordinary journeys. We have very thoughtful itineraries uh, that include the most time in port. We have overnights in some of our destinations and uh, we really sail to places that people want to go. So we invite you to look very closely uh, with your travel leaders advisor at our beautiful itineraries. Norwegian is a premium contemporary cruise line. Uh, we're all about the freedom and flexibility uh, that we offer the guests. We uh, want to provide you with a unique experiences. You know, it's the itineraries that drive the purchase, but we also want you to be sailing on spectacular vessels. And then we offer a real unique value proposition with our freestyle cruising concept and our free at sea value adds. We include a lot uh, in with a Norwegian cruise. So we're gonna talk about that in just a moment. What I love so much about Norwegian is we really are a cruise product for everyone. So whether you're a luxury client, uh, a solo traveler, active adult, you're a foodie, you're a family, we're fantastic with groups. We're especially good at multi-generational groups because all different demographics can sail with Norwegian and come away with their own fantastic experience. Okay, now for the featured presentation. Super excited to talk to you about Norwegian Prima. She is the first new class of ships for Norwegian in nearly 10 years. Prima is the first of six ships. We're going to be uh, launching uh, six ships, one a year from 2022 through 2027. And these are billion dollar vessels. They're absolutely spectacular. Uh, it's the first new generation of ships uh, for our fleet. And when we launched Norwegian Prima and she went on sale last May, uh, the goal was to have her be the most in-demand ship ever. And it, she absolutely was uh, record sales to start. And I'm so excited for you and everyone you know to hopefully experience Norwegian Prima. She was just christened uh, in uh, Reykjavik, Iceland in August of 2022. Uh, I was lucky enough to attend. Uh, we had Katie Perry as our godmother who uh, did the uh, formality of christening the ship, but she and her husband Orlando Bloom actually sailed with us. And that's a little bit unusual for a godparent of a ship, but they had a fantastic time. Uh, and she's been a, a terrific uh, a godmother for us. So uh, Norwegian Prima is all about providing guests with wide open spaces and stunning experiences. And there it is, again, uh, mentioning that the, there are six new uh, Prima class ships in on order. For those that are interested in ship statistics, uh, this slide is there. She's 142,500 tons. She stands proudly 20 decks tall. And this is an interesting fact. She has a guest capacity double occupancy of 3,215 and a crew of 1,386. And that's a really favorable 
guest to crew ratio. So very high uh, staffing standards. And for those that are interested in, uh, if we have any mathematicians out there, she's all about the space ratio. So for the size of the ship, it's more space uh, per guest than any other contemporary cruise ship that's out there. And to determine space ratio, it's the uh, uh, number of guests divided by the gross tonnage. So she's really all about the wide open spaces. In fact, we have four main pillars for the Norwegian Prima, and here they are. Wide open spaces, service that puts the guest first, thoughtful design, and a variety of experiences beyond expectation. She's just spectacular. One really great concept uh, for uh, Norwegian Prima is Ocean Boulevard, and this is on deck eight, and it wraps around the entire deck eight. It's over 44,000 square feet. Norwegian Prima is meant to connect you with the ocean, and she does that so well. So we have uh, infinity pools. We have a total of three infinity pools uh, on the ship, one on port, one on starboard, and one up in the exclusive haven section. The ocean walk, that middle slide, is really great. That's uh, located on both starboard and port. It's just 50 feet off of the water line that you're walking over the water, and it's a really great Instagrammable uh, 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 opportunity. And then the back, that far right picture is the Indulge Food Hall, which is a great uh, uh, food concept. Uh, and um, it, again, a lot of good outdoor space. So again, you can see how attractive the outdoor space is and how wide open it is. Really, there, it's, it doesn't feel crowded. Uh, actually, the number of guests on this ship is a thousand fewer guests than in our last class of ships that we introduced, the Breakaway Plus class of ships. So same size ship, but a thousand fewer guests. Again, all about the, the space and certainly, uh, you know, personal space is something that we're a lot more in tune with uh, in, since the past couple of years. Another picture of the infinity pool. See how that wide open spaces, right? Again, the indulged food hall in the back. And that's a great bar. It's called the Soleil Bar. It's beautiful. Uh, we just sailed from New York, which was incredible. We had the, the sunset uh, over the skyline. We had the Statue of Liberty. We went under the Verrazano Narrows. And the, that Soleil Bar was a really popular place to uh, watch the spectacular scenery as we sailed by. For dining and bars, there's no shortage. This happens to be a picture of the three-level atrium, the Penrose Atrium, but there are a total of five uh, complimentary restaurants and eight specialty restaurants. And there are, I think it's 14 uh, bars on the ship. Here's a look at some of the restaurants. The food on this ship is absolutely amazing. So for casual uh, eateries, we have the local bar and the Indulge Food Hall. For uh, premium, we have Los Lobos, which is Mexican, and it's awesome. They make a, they make a fresh guacamole table side, uh, really delicious. And then for fine dining, Onda by Scarpetta. Onda means wave in Italian, just beautiful, very uh, high-end fine dining Italian. Here are some examples of some of the complimentary restaurants, the Commodore Room, the Surfside Cafe, that would be the buffet, and Hudson's. And I have to tell you that Hudson's is the most beautiful main dining room I have ever seen. There's, you're, you're never more than three tables away from the ocean and it's just all walls of windows. So it's just so, so beautiful. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So some additional uh, uh, specialty restaurants, Hasuki, Nama, which is the sushi, Palomar, which is a new signature restaurant for Norwegian that's uh, Mediterranean. These, we have great uh, assortment of bars. The Metropolitan Bar is actually a bar that serves sustainable zero waste cocktails. So uh, that's very fun and they're absolutely delicious. And now we were lucky enough to have Amy and Lori sail with us. They were uh, among the first travel advisors to sail on the Prima in the United States. That's how important the Travel Leaders Market Square account is. And so we're, we're fortunate to have uh, Amy with us and she uh, was able to, these are some of her pictures. Hello, everyone. Um, one of the things that I really loved um, about this ship, she talks about wide open spaces, um, was all the awesome 
loungers and places to sit and chill and hang out with either a group of friends or in the afternoon, I like to take my book um, and sometimes maybe take a little nap. And there was just no shortage of, in fact, it was hard to decide which one. <laughs> Thank you. Love those pictures. Here's a quick video we're going to take of the Norwegian Prima to give you an idea of how magical she is. Introducing Norwegian Prima, the first in a new class of ships. Made for the trailblazers and tastemakers, for first time seekers and explorers of the spectacular. Made for you, with more wide open spaces to enjoy the great wide open. Rooms that have more room, and service that puts you first. Be the first to discover a new experience at sea. Your region prima. Here's another picture taken by Amy. Amy, do you want to speak to this? Yeah, absolutely. Um, when I go on vacation, one of the things I really, really do love, my husband and I and my family, is we love hot tubs. Um, and usually on a typical cruise ship, there's like one, maybe two, um, but they were all over. There was three or four, um, a couple different, even, um, they were never too full. Um, they were just great. I loved, and especially on this cruise, because it was chilly. So me and Lori definitely took advantage of the hot tubs. Um, the other thing that was super cool was the those charging stations. So you didn't have to be stuck in your room when your phone <laughs> needed charging. Um, I find that, you know, with older all-inclusives and older cruises, there's just not many ports and there's not many charging stations. So it was really great to see them all over. Thank you. That's definitely part of the thoughtful design. They really modernized everything. So, of course, sailing wouldn't be uh, complete without the onboard experiences. And so Prima, the Speedway, you may know that we have the racetrack on several others of our ships. Or it's two uh, level racetrack on the other ships. Well, we've upped it to three stories uh, that wrap around the funnel on the Norwegian Prima. And these are absolutely fantastic. It does cost $15 a ride. You'll go around eight times, eight laps. Uh, but it is uh, well worth the $15. And uh, right now, Orlando Bloom holds the track record, uh, which is a, a fun fun bit, but it's really fun. It's uh, up and down three levels uh, and it's very interactive. You actually, there's a beautiful observation lounge where uh, family and friends can watch you race and they can actually do um, like a laser beam. And if it hits your car, you get an actual boost and it, it, it makes you uh, go even faster. So really, uh, really spectacular, incredible when you're on it, thinking that you are at sea going around a racetrack. Very fun. We also have the rush and the drop. And I'm proud to say that I have uh, done both of these. This is a picture of the Rush. It's dueling slides where you can race a friend. These are dry slides. You get on at deck 18 and you get off at deck eight a second later. Uh, the fastest uh, slides at sea, but very fun. On the other side is the drop. It's a single slide. Uh, and it's uh, the, where you get into a, a tunnel and the floor drops out beneath you. And again, you go from deck 18 to eight in record time. Those are complimentary. They're very fun. So I definitely uh, recommend that you do those. Uh, we also have the Galaxy Pavilion, which is the uh, virtual reality. There are 14 different um, uh, uh, games, uh, I guess you would call them. Uh, four of them are unique, the only ones in the world that were designed just for Norwegian. So if you are interested in uh, VR, absolutely, this is a fun place to go. And you can purchase packages for the virtual reality when you get on board. As well, there are two escape rooms, and uh, those are very popular. I believe they're 20 minutes, approximately 20 minutes long each, and they can hold uh, six or eight people each. You can make reservations on that. Um, here's a couple more slides, uh, thanks to Amy, uh, that uh, speak to the technology and fun on board the ship. Yeah, there was a lot of um, really fun choices, you know, of all ages to do. Um, I know Lori did the miniature golf. 
Um, and I, th I know another gal in our group group did the, the race cars. I was trying to, and it just <laughs> never worked out, but I really, really wish I had, because that's definitely something I would have been into, especially with taking my kids. And the bullseye there on the, on, on the, that one slide with uh, the darts, it's called the bullseye and it's actually electronic. And so you, it can, it, it knows exactly where you're throwing the dart and it will come back with funny comments if you don't do very well, or if you do well, so it's just, it's very interactive. Uh, so a lot of fun, very, very high tech on this ship. Some more high tech pictures, picture of the escape room and then some of the other, um, virtual reality. We do have an adult, uh, adults only area, it's the Vibe Beach Club. Uh, th these um, do sell out, you purchase this when you get on board. So if you're interested in having a really great adults only space, uh, the Vibe Beach Club would be for you. In terms of entertainment, there is no shortage of entertainment on a Norwegian ship, no matter what ship you're sailing with. We have fantastic entertainment, absolutely the best at sea. This is a state-of-the-art theater. It actually transforms from a beautiful theater into a nightclub. Uh, this is the, the setup for the theater. The shows on, the headlining shows on board uh, Prima would be Summer, the Donna Summer Musical. This is, is a fantastic show. It's about 75 minutes long. Uh, it's, uh, there are three actors that portray Donna Summer at different stages of her life. They're all Broadway, veteran Broadway performers. One of them is actually Kimberly Locke, who was one of the finalists on American Idol about 20 years ago, but they are fantastic. And I, definitely these are complimentary. So absolutely when you're sailing with Norwegian, we encourage you to, uh, to take part or to uh, watch these uh, beautiful productions. There's also The Price is Right, and this is so fun. When you um, attend The Price is Right, you go to this show, uh, it's you. everybody gets a name badge and you can get called down. You could even win a car. So there are true prizes. Uh, there's the showcase at the end uh, and there's Plinko and the, the wheel and all sorts of things, but it really looks like the real uh, game show. Very fun. And then I mentioned that the theater was very transformational. It does turn into a nightclub in the evening. So there's a picture of the Sensoria Vegas style nightclub. In terms of accommodations, uh, these are the most uh, amazing accommodations, the most spacious that we've ever had. The Haven is the deluxe um, the, for the most discriminating of, of you clients uh, the, for the ship within a ship complex. And this all 107 suites are located in the aft section of the ship. Uh, and it's just beautiful. So they do have overlook the ship's wake, really beautiful. And again, they have their own uh, um, infinity pool, which is so pretty. So in the older concept with Norwegian, the Haven areas are very beautiful, but it was more about looking in. And on the Prima, the slide on the right, it's all about looking up, uh, looking out. And you can see the, the pretty wake there, the ships uh, in the aft section, right? So we have 107 Haven accommodations, but we also have suites, club balcony, balcony, balcony would be the most popular uh, category. So we have 946 uh, available balconies. We also have ocean view inside and studio. Studio accommodations are amazing. They are designed for the solo traveler or for friends that wanna to travel together but each want their own space. They are a little bit small but they're all within close proximity to a Haven lounge where you have exclusive key card access. And the cabins really are spacious. So Amy, this is one of your pictures. Yeah, um, there was so much storage space that we um, couldn't even actually take advantage of all of it. <laughs> I thought that I always overpack, um, mm -hmm. but uh, it just, we just kept finding new places and um, new areas to put stuff and it was never ever a problem. That's great. This is the Indulge Food Hall. This is one of the uh, new concepts. It's so popular that we're looking to um, put Indulge Food Hall on some of our other ships. 
Um, this uh, is 11. There are 11 artisanal mini restaurants and two food trucks. No matter where you're sitting, you can actually order uh, uh, food from any of the restaurants in this area on the tablet that you see pictured on the table. The food comes out piping hot in seconds, and it's very fun. Uh, it's, you know, for, for those that want to um, eat different food but want to eat together, it's a great, uh, great compromise, but it's really a special spot. Amy, you ate, it, ate here at the Indulge. Yep, I ate there twice. Um, actually, three times now that I think about it. Two lunches, and then this was dinner. Um, <clears throat> and I absolutely loved it because I love trying new foods. Um, I will try anything. <laughs> um, so it was really fun to just go, oh, I'll have that, I'll have that, I'll have that. And it just came to you within like five minutes. Yes. And it, what's great is that it, it is a complimentary. It's one of the five complimentary restaurants. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast is more grab and go egg sandwiches or, or those sorts of things. If you're heading out to an excursion, it would, could be perfect. Lunch and dinner, uh, there's a separate lunch menu, a separate dinner menu, uh, and they really are um, have absolutely a huge assortment of, uh, of options. In terms of destinations, you know, I think I mentioned that it's often the itinerary that drives the purchase for the cruise, but in this case, it's the combination of the beautiful itineraries and the amazing uh, uh, ship, the stunning ship, the stunning Prima. So it's really a recipe for success. In terms of deployment, um, she's going to be doing um, Northern Europe uh, in the summer, and then she goes to the Caribbean uh, in the winter. She is on sale until September of 2024. In terms of the nor Northern Europe sailings, there are 10 and 11 day. Um, this is for uh, summer 2023 and summer 2024, but beautiful, beautiful itinerary sailing from Southampton to Belgium and the Netherlands, several stops in Norway and several stops in um, uh, Iceland. And, and Iceland is one of our most popular destinations right now. Um, but they're also in October of 2023, some beautiful France, Portugal, and Spain itineraries. And then in, uh, she's going to be sailing from Galveston, Texas uh, for a few months, December 23 uh, to March of 2024 with five ports of call. So beautiful itinerary there. And then she's going to be home porting in the um, Port Canaveral and doing the the Caribbean uh, December of this December and then in March of 2023. So she's definitely a ship that is on the move uh, and uh, absolutely with some spectacular itineraries. At Norwegian, we are all about our free at sea offers, the value adds that we include. So we do have 40% off right now of all of our sailings as well. You're getting second guest flies free airfare if you choose that promotion, uh, unlimited open bar, specialty dining, excursions, Wi-Fi, and third and fourth guest sale free. So this is up to a $2,900 value, even more if you're doing the uh, second guest flies free promotion. Well, here again are some of the uh, value adds. The free open bar would be uh, anybody in the cabin 21 and over. So that extends to more than two guests in the cabin. The free specialty dining does um, matter how many, the length of the sailing and the uh, accommodation. So it's best to book a balcony or above for the extra um, uh, specialty dining. Free excursions, this is a really great value add because there's so many beautiful itineraries that are very port intensive where you're likely to go off and do excursions. And the free excursion promotion is $50 off each excursion that you book. So if a family of four did an excursion in the morning, they could get $50 off of that excursion. And then if it didn't conflict and they wanted to do another excursion in the afternoon, they could get $50 off of that. Free Wi-Fi, we know how important that is because if you don't post it, it's almost like it didn't happen. Uh, and um, so there, and then the third and fourth guest sale free uh, is also fantastic um, value add. And just for listening, we have exclusive offers. So there's even more when you book with Travel Leaders Market Square. Uh, we are going to provide chocolate covered strawberries, a bottle of wine, and a $50 onboard credit per cabin. Even though this presentation has focused on Norwegian Prima, uh, we have decided we would like to offer this to you uh, for any ship, any sailing date, for any booking made in the next seven days. So that's a, a pretty great offer. So hopefully that will get you to uh, encourage you to uh, make your reservation to uh, book with the expert advisors at Travel Leaders Market Square.
Wow. All I can say is that ship looks amazing. I am jealous of Amy and Lori and you, Lynn, that you all got to sail on this beautiful ship. I too did just recently sail with NCL and I have to say the excursions were fantastic. That's one thing I want to quickly highlight. It was so easy getting on and off the ship and every one that we took really, we felt immersed into the location we were at and we got to see so much. So I highly encourage you to book excursions through the cruise line. Cruise line. It was such an amazing experience for me. And if Prima's food can compare to Epic's food, the food that we had on Epic was amazing. I think I had one of my best meals at the French restaurant that we went to. So I can't say enough good things about Norwegian. If you're debating sailing with them, I highly recommend it. And any one of our travel advisors can certainly help you with this. And Amy and Lori would be happy to share more of their personal experience. So again, thank you to Lynn and Amy and Lori for being here today and talking about your Prima experience. And if anybody has any questions, feel free. We'll stay on here for just another second. You can type them into the chat here. Otherwise, feel free to follow up with your travel leaders advisor. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for having me. I hope everybody yes, gets absolutely. to experience Prima. She's absolutely amazing. Me too. I plan on getting on there soon for sure. All right, well, I don't see anything coming in the chat here. So again, thank you for attending. And if you have any follow-up questions, please feel free to reach out to someone at Travel Leaders.